Hi, Cheryl here with Hot Blog, Hot Blog Tips Hangouts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who I am and I don't know where I'm at, but I do know that I'm here with Mitch Mitchell of I'm Just Sharon and Brian D. Hawkins of HotBlogTips.com. Other than that, we might get a little lost. But today our topic for this Hangout is using Hangout overlays for branding. And you might say, what's an overlay? Well, the overlay is the nice little picture you see around me with the text, and it's got the name, the logo, what have you. And if you're wondering, okay, that's kind of cool, how can I get one of those? Well, when you're in Hangouts, they've got a nice little app called the Toolbox. And in that Toolbox app that is free, you can use what's called the lower third. And when you look at Mitch's picture here on the Hangout, he also uses the lower third as it's normally. I'm using the overlay instead. So that's the app you're looking for. And if you're wondering how do I make an overlay, because they're not going to come in and just give you one. You've got to make your own. You can customize them any way you want. And the easiest way to do it is depending on what type of editing tool you use. You might use Photoshop. If you use Photoshop, I have no freaking idea how you make them because I've never used Photoshop. I use paint.net and you start off with a template that is 640 by 360 is the size you're going to need. Make it a transparent template and then my suggestion is, actually this is Brad's suggestion because I didn't know how to do it and he had to show me, is you make layers. You're going to have a clear template then you're going to make your first layer, you're going to add a layer and say put your name across the bottom. Then you're going to add another layer and put your shading on the side. And if you have a busy background like say Mitch does, you're going to want more shading on the side so that you can read your text. And that's going to be your next layer, your text. Each time you're adding a layer, our suggestion is that you save each time so that you have templates set up, you can go in and edit them real easy. If I wanted to, I could change the wording on the side and make it business numbers, uh, topics, whatever. And you just start saving those. And then whenever you come into the Hangouts, you're going to start your lower third. And it has a section down at the bottom called Custom Overlays. You get to go pick a, a, choose, let me see, what does it say? Choose file. <laughs> Go into wherever you have your overlays <laughs> saved. <laughs> Grab them and bring them in. You can also save them in your lower third app there. So these are great for branding. And that's basically it. The main thing is, oh, here's Mitch trying to change his, I think. I just but, wanted to see it. And of course, it, now everything left. Oh, <laughs> but uh, they're great for branding. You can put your business connections, uh, your contact information. Uh, I do have some Christmas ones. They do bring out and look a little different than anybody else. If you're wondering, can everybody use them? Yes and no. Now, if, you're use, if you are using a Hangout as the page, as your business page, Lower Third has never been able to work that I've been able to get it to do and I know Brian hasn't either. So if you're in the Hangout as the page, you probably can't use it. Uh, another reason you may want to think twice before you use it is if you're in someone else's Hangout, especially a Hangout on air, you need to ask the host, is it okay if I run my own custom layout? Is it okay if I even use Lower Third so that I have you know a little bit of branding? because Having a custom layout in someone else's Hangout, especially on air, could kind of be distracting and could also seem a little rude like you're being pushy and trying to grab the attention. So you might want to ask the host before you start putting too much on there. But basically, just mess with them. And as long as you keep your dimensions, I save ours in PNG and scrunch them down and just load them up and have them so I can use whatever's handy for the day. So, Mitch and Brian, and I'll start with Brian, do you see using the overlays for branding as a plus and 
Brian, I know you can't use the overlays as the page today, but what would you suggest to put on there to help with your branding? Are you well, watching videos again? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, I got so much things going on in my mind. <clears throat> I, I think your logo is one thing, like you've got our logo down here at the bottom. And, and the website URL is always a good thing, especially if you're down below and you're, you know, in, in a hangout on air and you're not the primary speaker, other people can look at you down there and see who they're looking at. Um, even the one that Mitch is using right now, I know that's Mitch Mitchell because, well, I know Mitch Mitchell, but if I didn't, <laughs> I could tell that, you know. And I'm sure I can go and search Mitch Mitchell, search for Mitch Mitchell and not find Mitch because some kind of, what is he, uh, uh, the former drummer for Jimi Hendrix. There but I'm go. up there pretty close. <laughs> but so I'm just saying the URL. If you can get your URL up in there, as long as it's not some, you know, 20 mile long thing dot blogspot dot com, you know, you, you could get your uh, URL up in there. And please, please, Google, get this for, for the pages. I had to go down there and get my color and book and crayons, you know, and, and make my own. <laughs> branding here because you will not allow me to use this lower third uh, this page so that's a little distressing and and uh, the other thing is just who said I, I don't know who that is it ain't me okay what, uh, we'll just pretend it didn't happen and nobody will know and, do you hear sirens yes yeah. oh sorry <laughs> that's me <laughs> but, we go. away. <laughs> But I, I, I think branding is an important part of it, and I do agree, uh, Cheryl, that especially if you got, like, a lot going on with your overlays, it's better to ask, you know, uh, ahead of time before you go and do it. I didn't even, that never even dawned on me until you brought that up. And and also, before you wear, like, all funky hats and costumes and all this stuff and act all foolish, check with that see if that's okay, too, before you jump in on a live hangout on air. That's all. Okay, and Mitch, I know you run the lower third. What do you think? Well, I run the lower third mainly because it's easiest for me to figure out. I mean, I don't have, as a writer, I have a lot of creativity. As it comes to everything else, I just don't. I don't know how to do any of that. You mentioned Photoshop. I've never seen Photoshop. You mentioned some of these. I don't have that kind of vision. I mean, my newspaper logo are my initials. That just shows you the kind of vision that I have. That's all I know. Um, but something like this, where my name is there at the bottom and my, the link to the website that I represent when we do this, you know, that at least is something when we're doing the video. And I've been in other hangouts, you know, participating with other people, where at least having my name on there helps people to remember who I am. And there is a big, important part of branding when you're talking to other people on something like this. The overlays, I, I, like I, said, I wish I knew how to do it. I just don't. And I'm one of those people who doesn't even know how to hire someone else for it. Not be, that I don't know how to go find someone. But if they presented something to me, my mind says, I'm probably not going to like it because I don't know what I want. I don't know how to do anything. And so I always worry about that kind of thing. It, it, like I look at Brian's, I say, you know what, that looks brilliant. It's simple, but it looks brilliant. How did you think of that? Because I'd have never thought of something like that. I just think that's so cool. And but that's my issue. And like you're Cheryl Locke there. I'm looking at that and saying, goodness, I'd love to have something even just like that. But I don't know how to put anything. And and there's my issue. Um, so I'm not I'm gonna say that I don't think it has to necessarily be fancy, but having something like that or like mine, I mean, the only thing Brian's missing is his name on his. Um, so without us picking on him, no one would remember he's Brian. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, Brian I... D. Brian D. Hawkins. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> I had, you know, I've seen him and I know Brian talked about he was going to make some one day and then he can't use them as a page. And so finally, I just said, Brad, I want... I want you to make some because I am not a paint.net expert. I know how to use it if to do certain things. And once he started showing me and he made me, like I said, templates. So I have templates that just have my name across the bottom and then I can add layers and add different designs So and then save them. And that way I don't have to do a lot every time. I don't have to start from scratch every time whenever I want to change things up so 
I could, in the matter of just a few minutes, take the sidebar and change all the information there because I would have just the logo and the name across the bottom on a template. So that's, I thought they were something really cool and a lot of people ask about them but don't know where they come from and with the lower third as much as it's improved now with in the new toolbox, in fact the old lower third may not be working anymore. But I think it's very important to have some type of branding and unless of course you're in someone else's hangout and most of them will let you run at least the lower third like Mitch's but just make sure you ask before you get too blatant about it. Yeah. So any questions, comments? Well I just want to make a comment that by the by this time next week I'm going to I'm going to put it <coughs> together and we can try it out on one of the hangouts Mitch. I'll, I I mean I can put something like together in like 5 minutes. So I'll I'll send you um a PNG file with with your name on there. Maybe maybe a little you know. I thought it'd be kind of cool because you forgot your book today, by the way. So a little, a little <laughs> yeah. Book. Oh my god! <laughs> I forgot the book fell. <laughs> so we could put that up in the corner, you know, like a little picture of your image of your book or something, or your name or your website, whatever. So I'll I'll I'll, I'll get you something this week so that this time next week we can have something. We can just try it out. See how. Okay. And like I said, with Mitch having the busier background, I think you may need a darker shading over so that the text stands out because of the the things going on in the background. Well, I'm looking at a speaker in the background, and, and it's, a, it's a black background. It'd be cool for some 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 light font, you know, so you know some lighter image. I mean, you know, for it'd be a bit pretty cool with that speaker being. And I'm glad you told him it's a speaker because it's a younger people saying, what the devil is that thing? Because <laughs> they've <laughs> never seen a speaker. <laughs> I thought it was your refrigerator. <laughs> with, filled with chocolate cake and Rice Krispie treats. You don't put Rice Krispie treats in the refrigerator. No. Oh, I thought you did so you didn't eat them so fast. That way they were cold and, you know, you didn't eat them so fast. Yeah, yeah like that would slow me down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, back to the overlays. So, are we all good on the overlays? Yep. Hopefully, next week Mitch can be trying out some overlays, and Brian won't. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we got for you today for this quickie hangout. And I'm not sure what else we've got coming up this week for videos. So stay tuned, and be sure to subscribe and leave us comments or questions in the comments area. Give us a, a like, a thumbs up, a plus one a share in fact do it all because we love you and I want to beat Brian to it <laughs> well, actually, but, uh, with all the new all the new outlay you know um, layouts and stuff we gotta just you know wherever we oh, don't yeah. know where anything's at right now because everybody's seeing something different depending <laughs> on your browser and uh, what time of day it is and uh, take the time to look for the subscribe like thumbs up uh, plus one share buttons because we would greatly appreciate it. We're here for you. <laughs> Thanks. We'll see you later. Bye now.